Hey, my name is Boutrous Boutrous, and today I'm going to be talking about Julia Margaret Cameron. She's one of the most famous photographers ever known. Uh, she's British, but she was born in India in 1815, and she died in 1879. And that's her picture right here. Uh, this picture was captured by Henry Harshall Hay Cameron, which is her husband. And that was nine, nine years before she died. She was born in a rich family and she had sisters. Her job was translating work from German and she also wrote poetry and fiction of her own. This quote is taken from a book titled Julia Margaret Cameron's Woman. It's written by Stephanie Lipscomb and she explains how Cameron's work was created. Like, for example, Cameron did not steal this, this style, this style, out of focus style from no one. She just came up, up with it. She spent most of her time with her family and friends and people close from her. She was lovely, she was kind to people, and she liked to discover the beauty of the people that she was surrounded by. And she did photography for herself. She didn't do it to be famous or so she can sell. It wasn't her job. And she didn't have a studio. She just, I don't know, her style was out of focus. She didn't invite people, for example, like to her studio so they can pose for her and she can photograph them. No, she just, that, her style was just to photograph them out of focus in different areas, of course. And now I'm going to be talking about the history of Julia Murder Cameron. She was born in India in 1815. And she was living with family. She was close from friends. She was living a normal life. And then she was married to Carlos Hay Cameron. And then on her 48th birthday, she got a gift. And when she was 48, she already had six children. She was a mother. That means she was very busy. And then she got her gift from her daughter and son-in-law was a camera. And that camera changed her life completely. When she got the gift, the camera, she didn't know that her life was going to change that much. But she started practicing. She started uh, recording family and friends. And she came up with her own style, which is out of focus. Which later was considered to be a fine art or high art. She didn't really do much work or she didn't participate in many activities, but she became a member of photographic societies of London and Scotland. And that was it, pretty much. She was a member there until she died. Like I said, she just did this for herself. And when she became an expert in photographing, she started thinking and trying to prove that photography is a fine art. Back at that time, Cameron embraced photography. It wasn't taken as seriously as art. It wasn't considered as a fine art as well. And people mostly focused and liked painting. Therefore, Cameron was trying to prove that photography was a high art, a fine art. Although most people did not support her idea, but she still didn't give up and she kept trying and trying until she proved and people liked her work and they considered that photography was a fine art. And now we're going to be looking at some some of her pictures as that, that's going to be example of a fine art that she was trying to prove. Looking at this one right here we can see it's kind of blurred and it's definitely out of focus and we can see that her subject it's kind of She's trying to get the inner feelings. She's not trying to see like how physically they look, but she's trying to see the inner feelings reflected in their faces. We can say that her photographs were rule breaking. For example, we can say that purposely out of focus as well. I mean, look, in, look at this guy right here. He's kind of like sitting with his stuff right here surrounding him. Maybe that's his office or whatever. What we can see is his face right here, it's kind of out of focus. He's thinking of something, he's not 
Well, we can say that he's posing, but he's not posing as well. Because he's 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 reflecting his emotions. Another feature of Cameron's work was that her images involve some scratches and smudges. We can look at this is what this one right here. The subject is also out of focus, although it's looking at the camera, but it's just expressing the whatever they feel. And we can see that the image here is kind of blurred and it's not as sharp. We can't see details of hair or we, we, we can't really see like the, her face or the image is not as detailed as needed. Also looking at this one right here, it has scratches. That, that's, a, that's another feature that Cameron, Cameron did to her work. I mean, this is amazing. I like it. It's, it's pretty cool. She was best known for her powerful portraits. And looking at some of her images right here, we can see that most of her subjects is out of focus. And it's not as clear. It's not as detailed. I mean, this is kind of a unique way of photographing people. And we can see that in some of her images, we can, we can say that it didn't involve a certain age. She worked with kids, she worked with adults, and she also worked with uh, all people. For example, here we have Charles uh, Darwin. It's one of his pictures right here. It's out of focus. You can see that no much detail like here in his suit and kind of get more... We, we, we lose the focus right here. We can say that her point is to see this expression right here. And there's more. That's another one. This one right here. And I have my favorite picture is this one right here. This is amazing. I mean, there's music involved. There is an old guy, there's kids, they acting like angels, and his his face is not even looking at the camera, he's just, it, it's like he's living his life, not caring about nothing, just playing music and enjoying. And her, she's kind of looking at him and trying to learn, trying to see how he plays. And this girl right here, she's kind of bored we, we, we can say we can judge that they their expressions it's not posing for the camera overall julia margaret's cameron work was kind of unique at that time and nobody taught her how to photograph or to start photography she just got the gift and start practicing and learning and in a year she became an expert and joined, she became a member in that club and she she was 48 years old when she when she did that i mean she's kind of a great example of not finding excuses to do stuff and her style was unique because it was emotional and it was out of focus that's pretty much what i have to say about julia margaret cameron and thank you very much for listening